are making miso glaze black cod. Yeah. Now, black cod goes by a few different names. It does. If you're in Hawaii, it's going to be called butterfish, like Hawaiian butterfish, miso black cod, black cod miso yaki. It's all the same thing. This is basically sable fish. It's a very uh, non-fishy fish. That's why this dish is really popular. Um, and it's got it's really meaty. It's not super super flaky, and, and it's it, very it, forgiving in on the grill in the broiler. And it's very buttery. It's super buttery. That, That's why oh, they call it. It just falls butter off. Fish. Yeah, you guys dig in. It's so yeah. delicious. So I know we have to marinate it in a, a pretty thick miso glaze, correct? Yep. First thing, uh, I've got sake that's already burned off here. Okay. And then I'm going to add my miso paste. I'm using yellow for this one. Why yellow? But you yellow? can use any one. Uh, yellow miso is less salty. Um, it also has a little more sweetness. It's, it's more mild tasting. Does that make sense? Okay. The red works fine. You know, brown miso works fine. Uh, okay. I've got a little ginger, uh, two kinds of sugar. I like white sugar. Okay. I like brown sugar. And then uh, one ingredient you might not use as much is as mirin. All that is, guys, is... Uh, is sake, it's basically rice wine, but it's a right. uh, sweetened rice wine. Thank you, you're always you cleaning up after me. Oh, I okay. appreciate okay. you. I'm your sushi I, feel like, I feel like my wife is here, because Allie's always like, oh, you're so messy, bro. <laughs> I know. But thanks, I would say, thanks, unless yeah. you make a mess in the kitchen, it doesn't taste good. That is exactly true. Right? But the person cleaning up after you is not No, not happy, happy about it. <laughs> um, so how this, long will we... Bring this to the boil. Um, and once it boils, the miso starts to break down. And okay. then that's how we get this beautiful, oh. this lusciousness right here. And I have to be honest with you, that is good on anything. Oh, and, and that's totally. It's so good. It is so yeah. good. This is what I call a kitchen trick. Like, keep this around for marinade. Use it as a glaze. Use yeah. it as a dipping sauce. A um, really good way to get your kids to eat fish. That's how I yeah, get my kids to eat true. fish. How long will it last? This... Because of the sugar and the salt content in here, if you put it put this in the fridge, up to six months. Wow. Yeah, so what? make it what? once. What? Easily. Well, not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That I'm so joking. Funny. It's delicious. That's delicious, That's delicious right? on salads. Wow. Oh, my. Greens. A little so bit of good. rice vinegar so into that. Girl, you just made a dressing. I mean, <laughs> we're a good team For real. Check. So. All right, so oh, we, wow. I know, we, yeah, we really don't play. Submerge. We don't play. Like, what submerge we want to do official. here, you know, there's this, I mean, I'm not trying to get all uh, Alton Brown sciencey on you, but the, if you can cover the fish completely like we're doing here, we create something called equilibrium. Mm. So what happens is the, the, the liquid in the marinade goes into the fish and uh, the fish liquid comes out so we're actually like lacquering preserving does that make any sense it's so, science yeah. yeah it's it's oh my god we got all science we got it. It's, like a, it. yeah. it's like a shellac it is a it's shellac like, okay. you want to go all it's i like that there you go. <laughs> yeah. save some for some dressing and we're okay. good just like that so you want to shellac it on okay. uh make sure uh we can actually that that'll go for like three to four hours all the way to overnight in the so, refrigerator uh, best place would be in the refrigerator but is it is it imperative that you put it in the fridge i i think so and if okay. you don't want to use a glass, uh, like a dish, you can use a zippy bag as well. Okay. Uh, I like to marinate a lot of different proteins in zippy bags. So, so check it out. Um, again, that's that's in my opinion been what I call lacquered as well. And it's interesting that you say you can put it in overnight because a lot of times, if, because we didn't use any citrus, because if yes. you use citrus, it's going to break the fish down, right? Where once you use citrus, you call it ceviche, right? right? Exactly. So, so what's beautiful here is again, no citrus, nothing to nothing to to kind of break down that fish. Okay. And then uh, yeah, we'll get a nice shot of, uh, of of the marinated fish. And remember, the marinade has done its job. We don't need <gasps> much of it anymore. What I know, I'm freaking you guys oh, out. So don't, don't, I know. Oh, wow. But remember, there's there's a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sugar in here. So what's gonna happen is uh, under a broiler on a grill, it's gonna get, it can it can kind of, uh, it can it gets caramelized really, really fast, so. And it's so. already submerged in there because I, we shellacked it, remember? That is exactly I'm right. I'm actually grateful you upped a little bit because I feel like it might overpower it if there was mm -hmm. too much yeah, on there. If you left right. too much on, wouldn't that be the You hit it right on the head, man. Like, you know, you still want to taste the fish unless you're one of those people who, who doesn't really love fish, so uh, leave a lot of marinade on there if you want. So you want to give me a little brush, just a sure. tiny little brush before and after, and then I'm going to throw this right into the broiler. Okay, so Look what kind that. of oil was on here? Uh, so on whenever you're doing anything in a high temp Temperature uh, oven, neutral oil, vegetable, canola, peanut, phenomenal. Okay. Uh, you don't want it to burn. You don't want sesame. You don't want olive. So okay. this will go into the broiler. Oh man, here, here comes, For how here long? comes the fanfare. <laughs> Six minutes. Remember That's to, it? Yeah, remember to set your broiler wow. about 8 to 12 inches away from the actual element. That top heat is critical to getting this really beautiful kind of caramelization. Here you go, I'll give you another one. Wait, Will you? So Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. It goes in under broil for 3 to 6 remember minutes. Remember though, done cooking. 8 to 12. What? Yeah, because remember, I'm just trying to get the fish cooked through, mm -hmm. right? And there's so much heat in the broiler that will actually make the pan hot, so you're getting dual oh. heat. Oh, yeah. I just want to get That's the incredible. fish from translucent to opaque. You got that? 
and I'll, I'll, and I'll talk about salad. So now you're going to make this beautiful yeah, salad. Yeah, both of them. I love there you it. Go. That's really that easy. So the salad that you're making is a twist on a traditional papaya salad. Yeah, so I think people love papaya salad. The problem is it's really hard to get green papayas in the market. Yeah. So you know what? Apples are in season all year long. True. Right? Uh, and they've been varieties of apples all differ. So uh, how about like, I'm just going to cross you, sorry. There you go. Uh, how about like, um, I like honey crisp. They're amazing. I love honey right? crisp apples. A little bit of dried shrimp, <laughs> okay, right? Okay, you want me to drop those? In? No, those are no. going to go yeah, off. Yeah, that'll, that'll be, nope, this will all go in. Okay. Uh, so the secret to Thai, Thai food is basically fish sauce. The marriage okay. between fish sauce, which is salt. Think about it as salt. Lime juice. So those fish and, sauce, lime juice, and a little bit of sugar. Brown which sugar is brown again. Brown sugar. So now, this is our dressing. Yeah, that goes yeah on and our don't salad. don't fear fish sauce. Don't fear fish sauce. Fish right? sauce is so umami. Up. It makes everything taste good. It is, I think it is all umami. You don't, you don't have to clean up just because <laughs> Debbie was cleaning up after. Do you yeah, see yeah, me all yeah, freaking yeah, out? I'm like, I need to clean up. She's gonna beat me up. Yeah, exactly. Here you go. You meet me here. We've already made a little bit of dressing. Okay. Green beans instead of long beans. Right. Peanuts for crunch, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of the the dry shrimp as well. And just pour it like that? Pour, like, and we're that. gonna toss? Amazing, yeah. In Thailand, this would be uh, pounded together in a mortar and pestle. But this is a very simple version. That's impressive. Doable in any kitchen. It's yeah, exactly. so, so again, yeah, yeah, yeah. A green but Jet, you make it look so easy and you, you do, do it you all in little, seven yeah. minutes. Because it is, it's so easy. Now, Jet, I gotta ask you, uh, here yeah. at Hallmark, we're celebrating weddings Aww. all month long. Yeah. So I wanna ask you about your wedding, of course. Yeah, I, got I you, mean, okay. yeah. did you cook? Did you? How, uh, how does no, that work? How I was does it working, all work? I was working at a phenomenal hotel in Las Aww. Vegas, and uh, I made them cook for me. Nice. Oh, so we had right. this tiny yeah. little wedding. As you can see, there's only oh. like 10 or 15 people Aww. there. It was the best. Then we went back. There's my beautiful bride, Allie, Tila. Uh, then we went back and we made the hotel take care of uh, the, the before the wedding, the after the wedding, the reception. Again, you got to work them connects when you got there. <laughs> did you really lay it out for them? Like, how much instruction did you give oh, them? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you guys get nice guy, Jet Tila. I'm like, <laughs> Chef Jet Tila. No, he's like, yeah. nice. oh, oh, yeah. no. oh, yeah. he's cracking up. Cry, he's <laughs> cracking yeah. up. He doesn't yeah. anyone cry. No, no, no. I want to make sure that fork is two inches away from the thing. Oh, come okay. on. All right. Yeah. I'll tell you what makes people cry. You know what makes people cry? How good his food is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys take a bite. We've been that's eating. It's delicious. Oh, Enjoy. Oh. This recipe like is available online at hallmarkchannel.com, of course. Oh, my Make goodness. sure to visit Jet online at chefjet.com, yeah. which is maybe the coolest name of any website I've ever heard. <laughs>